welcome back to yet another episode of our series Rising Stars which profiles the emerging talent in the entertainment business industry and today on this very special episode we have with us Manya Singh. We welcome you here today Manya. Hi, thank you so much for having me here. Yeah. So Manya, could you walk us through your journey from where you started to becoming Miss India and what were the key milestones, challenges, moments along the way? You know, the journey has been long. I think it's been, uh, I got crowned in 2021. And then, the, uh, like, if I have to put it in one word, uh, it will not be possible. Because, yeah. uh, uh, you know, a person wants to get there somewhere he has dreamed about. Like, for me, I come from a place where people don't even dream about getting into, uh, yeah. get, going to Bombay or pursuing something which is impossible. So when I decided to get into Miss India, it was quite uh, different and I had a lot of doubts that, okay, will I be able to uh, make my way there? And I think uh, after all, I think I knew that, okay, I have to do this when I came to Bombay and then it came on my ego, first of all, that uh -huh. why it's not happening uh, because I have a habit. I'll tell you one thing. It's, I think, inbuilt uh, uh, quality which I have. Uh, if I'm not able to do something in my life, even chota sa bhi kaam hua. So, then I ask question that I am yeah, also human. Yeah. Somebody must have done this. Yeah. Ka ye kaam kiya hai. And if it is possible possible for that person, it, why it's not possible for me? For you. Yeah. So, yeah, I mean, it's always that thing happened with me that if girls are getting crowned as this India, why can't I be that person? Why can't I be the Mania Singh and get be Miss India, get to be Miss India? So yeah, I think that's the motto which I had. And uh, I think I never expected it. I knew that I'm going to get crowned till 25, but I ne never expected that it would happen. Uh, it will happen in 19, like when I was 19 year old. So yeah, it was quite surprising and I'm enjoying my journey. It's been three years now and I'm happy and not content, I can say that, but I'm happy and yeah, somewhere towards his satisfaction. Mm, definitely. So, uh, Manya, transitioning from Miss India platform to, you know, a reality television, what was your experience like on Big Boss? How did it differ your expectation and what did you learn about yourself during that time? Um, I I never wanted to do a reality show, to be honest. I did a reality show just uh, with the purpose of earning money. Uh, because, you know, we all come from a family. I come I come from a family where I was just like, I've taken over the responsibility, like of my parents, of everybody around me. Yeah. So I felt like, okay, this is the, because there is always a time where you go up and then there is a time where you go down. Yeah. So that was the moment for me that where I was going down and I was facing a lot of problems uh, that, okay, I have to do work. I was looking out for work. I was not talented enough into acting also that, okay, I should uh, try into acting or no. Uh, Big Boss came to me uh, twice. Like, uh, when uh, OTT came tha that time I was reigning Miss India. So us time pe I said no because uh, I wanted to live a, leave a message where I was like, okay, I am Miss India and I'm doing... Uh, purposeful things in my life uh, getting crowned after Miss India so that year I didn't choose it but after uh, later after when I passed my crown I thought let's try it on and uh, when I went in Big Boss I felt like okay you have to be yourself You're, you have to put portray your real self but that was not the case yeah. uh, and, uh, regard, I, I always feel grateful that okay the wire form and colors people saw the uh, potential in me, so they invited me for the show. So it, uh, it was a great experience, but I I always say that reality show is not a place where you be real. <laughs> you can't. <laughs> Everybody is acting. And uh, the strange part is that they all are really good actors because they can act 24-7. So, <laughs> um, Definitely. yeah. It didn't happen with me and it didn't work out. And I always feel that, okay, whatever happened, happened for a good reason. I came out in three weeks and it was a good thing for me because uh, I didn't have ki, agar main top five, mein jaati, ya, even I jeet jaati. So, ek, ek andar hi na, ek wo ho jata, expectations ho jata that I am Miss India winner. I am a uh, big boss winner. Big boss now, winner. Yeah. people should come to me and get me a film. Yeah, definitely. Wo expectation, human tendency. Ya, so, 
I came out early and I felt like this was a disguise in blessings. All this, you know, blessing in disguise. Sorry, hold on, hold on. That now I know that I don't have hinge of starting from zero. I'm happy to start from zero. I'm starting from zero. I'm doing something on my own. I don't have anybody around me. I don't have any backup plan. Whatever I do, it's all me. Even if I fail, it's all me. And even if I succeed, it will all be me. Yeah, definitely, definitely. So it's been a you know journey full of struggles, I must say. But uh, recently, uh, can you share some insights into your role in Air Vatan, Mere Vatan as Sarojini Naidu? I mean, including how you secured the role and your preparations and the process for it. I mean, what aspects and character did you find most challenging, and how did you approach and overcome them? Oh, it was very. Uh, I mean, it was very a uh, random moment. I mean, mm. I trained myself as an actor, and uh, you know, जब आप एक pageant winner होते हैं तो आपके दिमाग में भर दिया जाता है. You you should be debuting as a lead actress. Uh, uh, you should be portrayed as a heroine. You know, so I was. I had never had this uh, balloon over my head. कि नहीं मेरे को लीड एक्टर की तरह ही डेब्यू करना है चाहे मुझे सात आठ साल वेट क्यों ना करना पड़े आई ऑलवेज फील पेशेंस इज द की बट नो मैटर हाउ मेनी वर्कशॉप्स और एक्टिंग क्लासेस आई टेक द एक्सपीरियंस व्हिच आई वांटेड टू लर्न इट हैज टू बी इन फ्रंट ऑफ कैमरा सो एंड इट विल कम वेन यू पोट्रे समबडी एल्स इज कैरेक्टर सर ऑल्सो आई डू दैट टू या सो वेन इट वाज माय फर्स्ट प्रोजेक्ट आई नेवर हैड लाइक आई नेवर एक्टेड So it was quite yeah. ex- uh, exciting and scary as well because it was. And your performance was also really good. Thank you. Yeah. Like when uh, you know when you I'll give you one example when in the film when script comes to you uh, when it is very normal character that okay there is a girl who falls in love or there is a girl yeah. with so you don't have a benchmark ki aapko kaisa banna padta hai exactly. You could be anybody, and you can empathize with the character, and then learn your lines and act it out. Mm. That is kind of I feel it is more uh, yeah. your personal emotions which you carry and the personal experience mm. which you have. It works there, but when it comes to the historic uh, uh, characters, like uh, similar like Sarojini Naidu, yeah, uh, Mahatma Gandhi ji, use with them, Mohan Das ji, the Imran Hasmi sir's uh, character, Usha Devi, Sara's character. Yeah. इन सब को हमने रियल लाइफ में देखा है सो यू नो प्लेइंग इन फ्रंट ऑफ कैमरा एंड मेकिंग इट बिलीव जब लोग बिलीव कर सके ओके आई एम सीइंग सरोजी नायडू और आई एम सीइंग उषा देवी दैट वाज क्वाइट चैलेंजिंग बट देन व्हेन दे आई ऑडिशन फॉर इट फॉर श्योर इट डिन हैपन टू मी दैट ओके दे केम टू मी विद दैट दैट वी वांट टू प्ले नॉट गेट दैट ब्लेस्ड आई एम ब्लेस्ड इज नॉट दैट वे so when i uh, i auditioned for it and then i cleared the audition uh, i got the script i got the script i think two days back when i reached uh, hyderabad uh, we shot in ramoji i didn't even know that what i'm going to do i just uh, i didn't even know i just knew that sarojini naidu i'm going to yeah. play but uh, i was quite confused that i don't look like her i don't know yeah. how it will happen i yeah. have never seen her journey without any script or thing i knew the name that i'm going to play and then i did my research uh, over uh, sarojini naidu ma'am she is the first governor of our country lady governor yeah. Yeah. and uh, nightingale of our country so yeah. i started researching about her the way she walks the way she had delivered yeah. her speech and uh, you know the poise she handled i knew that i will i'll be very honest i knew at some point that i'll not be able to copy her yeah But, but I you did a great justice to her role. <laughs> But obviously, every actor, you know, it's it's the biggest achievement that you, if you uh, reach uh, Manya, fifty uh, percent also of that character. So it's a, you know, it's kind of a personal achievement. Yes. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, it was a good experience. I learned a lot. I learned a lot from the director. Uh, yeah. When I finished my shot in the morning around seven uh, o'clock. Hmm. Uh, w- w- the team member came to me and they were like, "We have never uh-huh. seen anyone playing Sarojini Naidu so well, and even in the first two takes. So you are one take artist. I agree with you. So I was really happy with the compliment, and uh, 
it was the best uh, i think compliment can be for the actress or actor that uh, people come to you and say that okay you're a one take artist mm. so <laughs> i felt really happy and i felt really blessed that okay this is my first and i met uh, a lot of good directors i got to work two directors uh, side, like continuously in the same uh, day i no. worked with vikram dhaya he is the action director and then okay. i worked with tanan ayer sir who is the main director of the film okay so, yeah it was a good experience <laughs> definitely so uh, manya as a newcomer in the you know film industry what were some of the you know challenges you faced in the industry and how did you navigate these hurdles what would, what advice you would you know give the aspiring actors in film industry today and you know film industry you know um, you know how it works it's uh, it's sometimes it's not a very good place to be and sometimes it's you know it's the best place to be so what was your take on this You know, um. So when uh, I never planned for acting. It just yeah, happened. I, mean, I was never had a plan. I was like, yeah. okay, Miss India, and then study. That is the two thing I want to do in my life. And I'm not a studious person, but I always want to study. So mm-hmm. I want to give one message that hurdles you will face. This is the one of the director I met. Uh, he told me one example. He gave me one example. Uh, हमारे देश का not just देश हमारे वर्ल्ड का सबसे तीन चीजें बहुत डिफिकल्ट होते हैं तीन प्रोफेशन दैट इज पॉलिटिक्स स्पोर्ट्स एंड बॉलीवुड और एनी इंडस्ट्री इफ यू वांट टू मेक अ प्लेस इन बॉलीवुड यू नीड टू मेक अ लॉर्ड ऑफ सेक्रीफाइस योर स्लीप योर ईटिंग हैबिट्स योर गोइंग आउट एंड हैंगिंग विद फ्रेंड्स यू कॉन्ट डू दैट इफ यू रियली वॉन्ट बी इन टू एक्टिंग बॉम्बे लाख लोग आते हैं लाख लोग वापस भी जाते हैं रोज जाते सो यू नीड टू हैव आई आई कैन से दैट आई वोट लाई आई डोंट वॉन्ट यू गाइज टू गिव लाइक मुझे ना रॉन्ग एक्सपेक्टेशन नहीं देनी है डेज वेर यू फील लाइक ओके आई डोंट बिलोंग यू आई स्टिल फील दैट वे आई स्टिल फील वेरी इनसिक्योर आई स्टिल फील दैट इट्स नॉट गोन हैपन इट्स हाउ मच आई शुड पुट ऑन बिकॉज me saying that that okay i'm going to give up because i've never believed in giving up is the huge task kyunki mujhe khud pe bharosa nahi hota ki main ye bol rahi hu ki main chhod ke ja rahi hu to i always say ki ek one of the very big director mukesh bhat sir i met him and he told me that manya 3 saal 5 saal mein kab hi jayenge pata nahi chalega so keep plan b and that was quite uh, this hardening for me i kept it in a raw, right way for sure you know no which suggestion dia that you should have a anchor in your life jab you mentally disturbed now because mm-hmm. getting in depression in this industry is very easy mm-hmm. yeah because mumbai is very dry place to be mm-hmm. so uh, the success is not constant but it's not impossible i mm-hmm. think when you come here you have to put in a lot of work and nowadays it is much not much easier but i think it's more convenient for you if you are a good actor actually kyunki yahan pe struggle karne wale bahut hai lekin actors bahut kam hai so you know there were a lot of people told me to go party make connections i said no i don't want to i know where is my pote i am going to go meet hansel mehta sir i'm going to go meet anurag kashyap sir anurag bas sir so the mishra sir eeni was sir this is my genre of work yeah and that's where i want to work i want to mm-hmm. work with all the directors directors of our country so that was my motto and i knew that i'm going to do it because i knew that i'm going to put efforts for it hmm main parties mein jaake connections nahi banati thi to be honest parties mein wahi jaate the ke bas kaam nahi hota ha <laughs> so Definitely. i always feel that way so mm-hmm. yeah I mean, that's how it happened and uh, i feel it's not easy but it's not yeah. impossible Mm-hmm. so whoever wants to be an actor please welcome but make sure that you are uh, doing something where you can keep yourself busy because it's 365 days hum ek saal mein hote hain hame 365 days kaam nahi hota mm-hmm. 65 days hota hai aur 300 days aapko auditions dene padte hain imagine the amount of hard work you have to put in with yeah. for the result mm-hmm. so i think yeah you have to put it's most difficult the profession but it's not that uh, it's impossible Yeah, it's gonna happen easily. It's gonna happen if you are really honest with your work. So, as you 
abhi you mentioned that uh, that i don't you know go go and you, uh, you don't go to parties for you know connections and stuff like that so i would like to know that in your experience what does you know what role does networking and building relationship ships plays in the entertainment industry i mean can you share some any strategies or effectively you know aspects of the business uh you know okay to be honest it's very difficult right now the risk factor is too much in the yeah. industry all the films are getting flop hmm nobody is ready to take uh, chances over you know new talents so start wherever hmm. wherever you get start from it hmm. if your work will shine uh, for example make your uh, videos monologues and send it to the directors they will see it's not that even if you send it to hirani sir he will see he has he himself mm. told in the interview that we don't want somebody to text oh hi sir how are you can we meet yeah. we don't have that much of time mm. we are here for a talent if you have a talent send your videos we'll see your videos and if you feel that okay you fit in our character or somewhere we will call you or we will we will reply you so that is the only take i can say that uh, works and that was my strategy uh, touched uh, by god grace um uh, i have always been very real uh, i know yeah. that is india ban jate ho aap bombay aa jate ho to aapko dusron ko dekh ke aapki chaal dhal badal jati hai yeah but as a person i knew that i need to be grounded i need to be yeah. really honest people were like i don't ask for work if it is in my destiny it will come to me and i always feel no I am here to write my own destiny. I'm not gonna uh, say that okay, my destiny will give me work. I have to go out, and even if I'm not going out, I'm putting efforts and working to make my destiny beautiful. So I asked for work. I met Salman sir. I told him that I want work. Hmm. I met uh, Anurag Basu sir. I told him I want work. I am here to make relationship over work. Okay. Yeah. हम अगर दोस्त हैं, that is like I will not even consider work. But now. by god grace i have a very good relationship with all the directors out there and i never expect them to give me work because i feel that whenever they feel of okay, me mania is good actor they will consider me and they will give me work but that's how i think it happens right if you don't have to like itna ghumao phiro nahi karna rehta hai seedhi si baat hai yaar kaam chahiye maange hmm kya ye zyada zyada nahi bolenge no? at least they will feel or she is so honest or he is so honest So I think that's why, and I don't go for party party. Not in, not just for uh, you know, for film only, but any which ways I don't go for parties. My Saturday night is at my place. I stay at my place. I be with my family, and that's my life. I'm happy there. That's great. So um, so tell us about your uh first commercial ad. How did you get it, and how was the feeling? and how did it shaped your career and aspirations in the business i did my first commercial with anurag basu sir wow <laughs> that it was and good. a very big uh, cinematographer ayanka bose sir okay and uh, it was very lovely commercial ad first commercial okay. ad of my life okay. uh, which was shot in big camera green uh, paper everything was there so i had a great experience he only told me to try into acting or else i would have like okay i'm going to go i'm going to go and be prepared for something upsc because i'm very fascinated by upsc oh so that i wanted to do so yeah i mean it was he told me that you should try into acting because you are a very natural actor you don't have to put in a lot of efforts to get into character it's very easy for you so you should try your hand so i said okay why not and then uh, since then it's been two two years now two and half years i've been trying 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 and i got my first cameo in dharma and i think the journey will start now hopefully so how was the experience you know working with dharma production oh it was amazing <laughs> it was amazing the people were amazing i had a lot of fun uh -huh. uh, I was feeling very privileged that okay, I have got an opportunity to work with Dharma Production, and then uh, yeah, I mean it was surreal. Yeah, खुशी होती है but मैं ना वो 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 वाली बंदी नहीं हूँ मेरा मेरा nature अलग है मैं उन लड़कियों से नहीं हूँ कि खुशी में बहुत celebrate करना and the yeah. मेरा मैं बहुत neutral रहती हूँ hmm. uh, but I got I got really calm उस time पे ऐसे ठीक है 
it's a work i'll do my work i'll go home i'll be happy that's it that was i didn't even tell my parents i told them just i think a month back that my film is coming and oh. i shot this film my year uh, i think 7 months back <laughs> So I don't. Okay. Uh, I am not the person who gets excited very easily. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's great. So, Manya, my final question to you is like: Looking ahead, what future projects do you have in the pipeline, and what, you know, uh, how do you envision your career evolving in the coming years? Are there any specific goals and aspirations? Hope you know you hope to achieve. Look, I am the dreamer. Huh. and i literally dream beyond my reach hmm. so that's something how i live i huh. if i don't have a vision i will not be able to dream hmm. so that's i that's i mean it actually hmm. and uh, there is another project which is coming and you guys you guys will let me know soon very soon uh i'll not be able to talk about it uh, but then it will come and it will get announced i think uh, yeah probably this week or next week okay and, <laughs> Yeah, so it's just a... give us the you know, uh, in in which field it's coming. It's in Bollywood. It's it's in Bollywood. Okay. Yeah, and uh, I'm studying also. I'm uh, I'm going for my masters this year. Oh, I'll complete my masters and from Mumbai University, and then I'll go for my PhD in Delhi. So, oh. that's my plan. I mean, that's mm-hmm. how I want to function right now. But mm-hmm. rest is on to God. Yeah, anything can happen. I think. Mm-hmm. Uh, जो होगा